Hi, I'm Dr. Sakshi Aroda Hans, and you know me as your OBS and Gynae faculty. This is my first podcast message for you, and it is coming on a very auspicious day of Guru Purnima. On this day, apart from thanking Sai Baba, my parents, and my teachers for what I am, I want to thank all my students, whom I call as my bachas. Thank you, bachu, for pointing out my mistakes. Thank you for telling me when I'm wrong, and thank you for appreciating me and inspiring me to do better. I owe so much to you all. I'm so overwhelmed by the love which you have given to me, to my books, to my classes, and my teachings on marrow. But you, no one. I would not say no one, but I would say rather very few people are born talented. Success is 80% hard work and just 10% talent and 10% luck. Today, I want to share a small story with you, and this is my story. I did my MBBS from GSVM Medical College, Kanpur. And in Kanpur, uh, it's like paras. So I am from para R1. Then I appeared for All India exam. In my first attempt, I didn't get a very good rank. But my parents they insisted that I should take up TGU from Gorakhpur, and then try again next year while doing GR ship. Now at that time. There was uh, no bond, so we didn't have to fill up any uh, bond. So I started uh, doing my DGO from Gorakhpur. I did for around uh, four to five months of my residency. Uh, took a break, and then I came back home to study for All India again. Now, as the luck would have it, in the meanwhile, I got engaged, and coincidentally, the date of the All India exam. and my marriage were very close so although i was preparing at the last moment i decided i'm not going to give the exam now that is because a second counseling happened and in the second counseling i got dgo from alabad and this was the place from where my husband was doing residency in surgery and so this seemed more lucrative to me rather than giving the all india exam and i satisfied myself with a dgo now then i did my sr ship from swami dayanand uh, hospital delhi and uh, while i was doing my sr ship i conceived now as most of the uh, you know gaini srs they have there my pregnancy was also uh, complicated most of the gynae uh, you know june jrs and srs their pregnancies generally they end up being complicated and same it happened with me too so i had a uh, threatened abortion and i went later into preterm labor so majority of the time during my pregnancy i was on bed rest and it was at that time that i started writing my books the self assessment and review of obstetrics and self assessment and review of uh, gynecology and uh, because uh, the it was my uh, first pregnancy and i thought that it is bringing a lot of strain the sr ship so i thought i'll give a break to my sr ship just now and later on i'll continue with my sr ship in the meanwhile i had a cesarean and my uh, daughter uh, was born and mine was a nuclear family and since both of us uh, we are into surgical branches my husband into surgery and i into gynae it really became impossible for me to complete sr ship later now this was around the year 2008 by that time my books were released and they were doing pretty decent so i thought that i should start taking classes for fmg students where i will have fixed timings i will teach for a fixed number of hours and that ways i will be able to give time to my daughter also and the first coaching which i approached was a uh, dims and i'm really thankful to uh, mr rajesh of uh, the director of uh, dims and it is now called as pgtims for giving me a chance so uh, he said that i could come and uh, ta- take a trial class in one of his batches 
I still remember so well that the first topic which I taught was abortions and unfortunately students didn't like my lecture next day mr rajesh he calls me and he says that uh, ma'am sorry the students didn't like your uh, lecture so i said sir uh, i think i should be given one more chance and please uh, give me one more chance so he agreed to it he said okay i'll give you another chance but this time it will be in a different batch and at that time you won't believe dims had fmge batches like 8 7 8 batches so he said i'll give you a chance in another batch now in the next batch i knew that you know i had taken up abortions and i was teaching a lot of details you know this was my that was my first class i really didn't know how to teach and now with the second class i got an idea so i taught them amniotic fluid and its disorders finally the students gave a positive response and that is how i entered into teaching but then that was not all still i was not accepted by the pg students slowly and gradually the things changed and it took 2 to 3 years finally for the pg students to accept me now what if i had quit what if i would have quit i wouldn't have been where i am today right but i didn't quit every time i failed i tried harder teaching was my passion and to become a national level faculty was my dream and i really didn't want to let go my dream every time i used to take a class i used to ask the students and this i tell just now also students to give me an honest feedback and i took a feedback form from them and whatever topics students said that they didn't like i used to read those topics again again make simplified notes and then practice teaching in front of the mirror this is how i became a national level faculty and if i can do it why can't you so all the students who haven't done well in aims jipmer pgi don't be afraid to start over take your failure positively don't doubt yourself and don't be harsh on yourself just believe in yourself believe in your dream become your better version every day but your your competition is not with you your friends your competition is with you you are going to compete with other students in exam right but just now every day your competition is with yourself if today you have been able to put 6 hours of dedicated study tomorrow your aim should be to put 6 and a half hours of dedicated study right have the courage to write your own future just don't let your past affect your future make your dreams come true make it happen you can do it but you just make it happen this is all what i have for you today but i will see you soon again and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and to press the bell icon if you liked my story or if my story was able to inspire you even little bit thank you take care and god bless you